Dear viewers, I, Dr. Mudassir Ahmad Ghori, welcome you to this digital lesson on Individual and Society paper. It's a paper which is a part of the general English for our BA first semester students. Today, we have with us Professor Muhammad Abdul Samir Siddiqui, Director of Center for Promotion of Professional Development of Urdu Medium Teachers. Today, in this digital class, we'll be talking about one of the important topics that is society and caste. Professor Sami, welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. Sir, first things first. Will you please elaborate the aims and objectives of this course, Individual and Society? Dr. Mudassir, as you know, this course is prescribed for the first year students of UG. Uh, it is prescribed under uh, CBCS pattern. It presents a sociological approach to literature and it tries to connect the individual and society through literature. It discusses various aspects of society like caste, class, gender, ecology, migration and so on. So as you know that society and caste is the first unit of this right. course. What is your understanding of the term society? Society is a group of people governed by similar laws, similar traditions, customs, food habits, culture, language, religion. These are the constituent elements of society. Right. So do you think that Indian society is different from Western society? Yes, it's absolutely different. As I said just now, there are various aspects of society. And if we look at that, we come to know that Indian society and Western society are different in terms of language, in terms of belief systems, right. in terms of traditions, culture, right. and also food habits. So will you please explain some of the features of Indian society? Indian society is basically a pluralistic society. Right. It is a multilingual, multicultural society. Right. It's a secular, democratic kind of a society. And then unity in diversity is a cherished virtue of Indian society. Will you please elaborate this term unity in diversity for us? Unity in diversity, as you know, there are various uh, people, people from different regions, different religions, customs, traditions, but then they stay together. This Indianness binds them together. Right. That's why we say that there is unity in diversity right. in the Indian society. Do you think that there is a coexistence of tradition and modernity in any society? Right. Uh, Indian society uh, is, uh, India is one of the oldest civilizations of the world. Right. And there are various traditions right. to which we adhere. Right. And we follow various customs. But at the same time, there are some aspects of modernity that right. we have accepted. Hmm. Uh, let me give you the example of Hyderabad itself. Right. It's a city known for historical. the historic places, historical monuments and so on. But at the same time, it's a hub of IT industry. Right. So in India, tradition and modernity, they coexist. Right. That's why uh, one of the features of Indian society is the coexistence of tradition and modernity. Since we are discussing about society and caste, caste is the second part of this unit. Right. And I want your understanding, what is your understanding of caste? Caste uh, is actually a social stratification. Right. And it is based on the Varna system given in Mano Simrati. Right. It talks about four divisions of the society, Brahmans, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras. Right. Superficially, it is the division of labor. But this division of labor is not based on skill. Hmm. It is based on birth. Right. Our society is confronted with so many challenges, poverty, unemployment, corruption, and unfortunately, untouchability and casteism is another important challenge that our society faces. What is your take on that? As I have just said, uh, there is this idea that uh, purity and impurity, if a person from a lower caste touches the person from upper caste, the person of the upper caste gets impure. Right. That is known as untouchability. And our Indian scholars, reformers, they have tried to abolish it, remove it from our society. So you said social reformers. Will you please mention some of the social reformers? Okay. There are various uh, social reformers who have worked for abolishment of uh, this caste system. Right. And uh, in different parts of the country, different scholars have worked. Especially in Maharashtra, 
we can mention the names of uh, Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule, right. Savitri Bai Phule, hmm. Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj. Right. Then in Karnataka, Basveshwaranna, they all have worked for the removal of caste system. Sir, you, among many social reformers, B. R. Ambedkar and Mahatma Gandhi also played their role in right. the struggle against the caste system. Yes. Would you like to comment on their contribution? Dr. Ambedkar and Mahatma Gandhi, you have rightly uh, brought these two names. When we talk about uh, the reformers who worked against uh, the caste system, these two are the most important names uh, and I thank you for that. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi, he wanted to uh, treat the lower caste people with equality. In fact, he was the first person to use the word Harijan for them. And Dr. Ambedkar gave it the shape of a movement, right. a struggle against the caste mm -hmm. system. And right. he was the one who did various satyagrahas and he was crucial, he was instrumental in a way uh, in providing various legal provisions through the constitution to safeguard the rights of the lower castes. Right. So since we know that it is an academic discourse, even in literature, do we have certain texts which address this issue of caste system? Right. Caste being an Indian issue, if we want to search uh, in literature, we need to search in Indian literature first. Right. So I'll give you the example from Urdu. Uh, Premchand's short stories, for instance, right. they talk about various problems that the people from the lower caste face. Right. Let me give you two examples. One is uh, a short story by Premchand, which is known as Kafan. The other is a short, again, a short story by Premchand, uh, which deals with the caste issue, and that is Thakur Ka Kuma. Right. There are similar examples in other literatures as well. For the students of English, in Indian writings in English, Mulkraj Anand's novel, Untouchables, Untouchables right, right, which was published in 1935, uh, that deals with the problem of caste, caste system. system. Right. There are various uh, regional literatures as well, literature in regional languages. Uh, now they, it is known as Dalit literature. So, especially the contribution of Marathi writers, it is worth mentioning when we talk about uh, writings that deal with caste. Right. So, of late we have seen that there are certain scholars who try to correlate uh, casteism with racism. Are they different? Are they similar? How are they different and how are they similar? Right. Uh, look, in one thing they are similar, that there is subjugation, suppression, operation of <coughs> the weaker section and in both the cases, in racism as well as in casteism. But the difference is that the basis of discrimination in racism is the, the color, color right. of a person and uh, the basis of discrimination in ca here is caste and then uh, in both the cases the weaker section suffers. Right. Sir, interestingly, there are certain scholars also who claim or they sort of correlate class with uh, sort of caste. Right. What is your take on that? Uh, again, the discrimination that happens on the basis of class and caste is similar. Hmm. But there is a huge difference between class and caste. And the fundamental difference that I would like to point out, that there is a possibility of upward movement in class. Right. For instance, one may born poor, but he can die rich. True. But in case of caste, there is no possibility of upward movement. Right. So once a shudra is always a shudra. He will remain throughout right. his life. He remains as a in that particular caste only. Right. Will you please briefly suggest some reading material for our students so that they can improvise their understanding of the concept of society as well as caste? Right. Uh, there is a lot of reading material available. Uh, but in terms of society, Indian society and that to uh, a comparative perspective of Indian and Western society if they want to get, I think uh, Mahatma Gandhi's Hind Swaraj is, a best, is the best text Thanks. to read. And uh, in terms of caste, uh, Annihilation of Caste by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar uh, is a wonderful document to know the evils of the caste system. Thank you so much for explaining these terms and concepts so candidly. Welcome. Dear students, in today's digital class, we discussed some of the important topics 
we discussed about society and caste, we discussed about tradition, we discussed about modernity, we discussed about class, caste, etc. Hope you enjoyed today's session. You can contact us on the numbers or the email displayed on the screen. We'll be back soon with some interesting topic again. Till then, thank you so much.